So it's Harvest Fest. And the gnomes are already coming for us. Those little bastards. And one of them is naked. Why? I don't know, but that's a little scary. So what's it going to be this year, I think? I don't know. War or peace with the gnomes? It's going to be up to them. Let's see. Let's, let's send... You're lonely, you're bored, you're whatever. Okay, you know what? You. Let's see. We'll try to be nice. Let's see how that works. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back. This is the veteran mom. I am playing my 100 baby challenge. It is Harvest Fest. We're about to confront the gnomes and see whether they want to fight this year or whether they're going to play nice. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully nobody will get electrocuted. But before I even get started, I wanted to show you the house because I got kind of ambitious when I went to fix something and I finished it. That's right. It's just like inside, outside, all around town. I finished it. So let's start with the outside. This is the front porch. I did the landscaping. And of course, it's not looking too hot now because it's harvest best and it's cold, but yeah, much more vibrant and pretty in the springtime. But I landscaped, I put little hedges all around, and trees. And if you come over here, I got a little meditation area under this tree with the lanterns, which is really cute. And I put a basketball area here for the kids, a little sand area for the toddlers to play, and a toddler pool there. And I put a pool in. I put a pool in for the family, although it's fall, so they're not going to use it for a while. But that's okay. And some playground equipment. And then I figure they got this right here. So I didn't have to put anything else. Okay, here is the deck. We've got a little barbecue area. We've got a little party area with a bar and a dance floor. And we've got a little seating area for conversation. And I put the artwork out there. Now, I didn't do a hell, a whole heck of a lot to the kitchen or the living room. I just put out a few finishing touches, um, as you can see, some wall decorations and some clutter. And I put out these new uh, china cabinets. Didn't really change the living room out of a little art, except for one thing. I made the stairs straight because that bend that was just not working for me. Now, the wing that I did do a lot of changes to was Ridley's bedroom. Let me show you. She used to have the walk in through the baby room. That was not working out. So now that I actually got to live in the house for a little while, I decided to change things around. I put the baby room right here so she can go in and out. This is the toddler's bathroom and it got moved down a couple inches, but really not much change in that except I decorated it. So it's fun now. And then this is Ridley's boudoir. I figured she'd have an affinity for Audrey Hepburn, because what fashionista doesn't? I mean, I can see her favorite movie being Breakfast at Tiffany's. Okay, there's her little sperm inspiration painting. She's got uh, her artwork now and a very oh, I can't move around on this. You get a very sexy bed area and a little dressing area because I took her office out from this area. So she's got this little dressing area now. And she's got her own gorgeous bathroom suite, which is something I wish I could jump into right now. I would love a tub near a fireplace. That is like my dream. <laughs> uh, so she got her little own personal spa. And then of course, right off of her bedroom, she's got her own little personal balcony, which I gave plenty of privacy to with the divider and candles and trees. So now we don't have to worry about her being spied on by the kids or accidentally stumbled upon. These would be fuller in the summer, but she's she's got her own little private area here for, for when she's feeling romantic with her guests. And then here's her office, which I put where the gym was. And I told you I really liked the decor in her office the first time around, so I kind of stuck with it. And of course the office, like all the other rooms, in the back of the house open up onto the beautiful porch. I moved the gym over here 
to the family room side. Now everybody doesn't have to come traipsing through her room or go outside in order to get to it. So it's a very simple little gym. I decorated the, ah, okay. I decorated the little movie room, the little media room with some movie posters and lights, low lights so they could play. And I gave them a popcorn machine. And then I turned the family room because they love their music so much into kind of a music room. So now they can not only dance and have fun with their stereo that they adore, but uh, they can practice all their music down here. The kids can learn those skills. Okay, the biggest changes were upstairs. Now, if you remember at first I had two bedrooms on either side, I changed that. I now have the bedrooms across one way and then this long area, which is kind of a family hangout loft. We've got a little sitting area and a place for the kids to drop their school bags and little, what do they call this? Oh, you can set a curfew? Cool. A little fun board, you know, a little push-up board. Um, chess table moved up here. Got a little reading area, got a little homework area. Over here, we got some games. We've got some art for skill building, place where they could do their projects. Oh, science table. Now, I got a little lazy with the bedrooms. And instead of making them myself from scratch, I just bought the pre-made rooms that come with the, the game. So. I had to alter them a little bit so they were the right fit. So I got one room here, and then it's got a connecting bathroom to this room. And then I got a little bit more adult rooms for the teens and adults, like Jordan's room is here right now. And uh, I put in a laundry room. Yes, a laundry room, because I saw it. And I thought, hmm, I've really taken advantage of some of the packs I have by like using clubs and, and things like that. That really ended up giving her a benefit in the game, but laundry is a realistic part of life, and I have the laundry set, and, you know, even though it is a negative, I still feel like it was only fair, so I gave them the laundry room. Hopefully the maid will help with the laundry. I don't know if they do that. I don't, I don't have a lot of maids for the most of my games, but, yeah, that's the new, and I didn't do this very fancy schmancy. I didn't want to make it, like, uh, perfectly decorated because I figured this is more the kids place to hang out and just like should be really cat oh there's another room should be really casual let's see ah I need my other camera back we're gonna go down where's the front there it is let's see how Azure does with these gnomes and you know what if these gnomes don't behave themselves they're going to get kicked because I'm not dealing with this. Let's see. She's, she's collecting the money tree money. 16,000? Nice. Oh! One of these gnomes were okay with us. Azure is sad but happy about that at least. That doesn't look Yarps. good. What's the deal? Okay! The gnomes talk? I didn't even know the gnomes talk. Did they just say so so? Appease the gnome. Come on, guy. Don't ruin it. He doesn't look like a very happy one. Uh oh, baby. Ridley. She's guarding. For some reason, our gardener never shows up until after we do the gardening. Don't give us a hard time, buddy. Everybody's doing good. Uh oh. Okay. Try appeasing him. Plead for forgiveness. This is ridiculous. And if that doesn't work, then we're all going to kick the gnomes. Oh, cool, Beppa. What did the baby want? Hey. Paro got Oh! I don't think he... Okay, that's it. It's war now, gnomes. 
There you go. Kick that gnome. Kick his ass, Azure, for what I just did to you. Chopping up! Yes! Oh! They're all coming now. I'm just gonna keep kicking them. He's enjoying this. Look at this. What's she going for? No, no food. Nobody's eating. It's Harvest Fest. We gotta cook a family meal. Cook a grand meal. Ridley, drop the food. Like, literally, just drop the food. I'm gonna take care of the baby. Azure, how are you doing with these gnomes? They breaking stuff, those bitches. Azure is mean. Meme Sims become well. Then you are perfect for this job, Azure. They become happy when they cause misery. So good. We will make you very, very happy. Make sure everybody is busy so they're not attacking the fish. Okay, you're not gonna get me. You you guys don't just come in my house and electrocute my children. He's just enjoying garbage. Oh, one more gnome bastard. Are they multiplying? Do they all like does the alarm bell go off when you kick a gnome and, and try to hurt it that all the other gnomes come trying to help? Like, how does that work? Come on, kick his ass, Azure. All right. Any more coming? No? Yay, we conquered the gnomes. All right, here's a little celebratory item. What the heck is it? Okay, the crystal. Ridley, what are you doing? No, you're not eating popcorn, bitch. You know what we should do? We should pick up a plasma tree so we can make like plasma salad for our grandchildren and our children who are vampires. That's what we should do. Okay, so cook a salad and cook a fruit salad because one grand meal is not going to feed your crew, really. Where are you, Danny? No, no advice. Set the table, remember? There you go. Dig in this new kitchen. It's a pretty color. I like that green with the white. So bright and cheerful. Should decorate too. I put the decoration box up here. Yay! And why? Are you... Oh, he's mopping in here now. What a good boy. You want any poopies? No. Okay. You know what else we're going to make? We're going to make an apple pie. Because what is holidays without a pie? <laughs> Go. Except for Ridley, of course, but we have a lot of sadness in this house because we have pretty much lost the entire first wave except for our vampire boy chance. We lost Max and Mickey a while back. Then Dodger died. And then we got the notice for Annie and Finley, and then Peyton followed along soon after her younger sisters. Marley and, T and Tucker are next. That is so sad. And we got this, the whole second wave. They're all, like, old now. Well, I think Molly's still an adult. Let me see. Max, Mickey, Chance, Dodger, Peyton, Andy, Finley, Marley, Tucker, Avery, Tanner, Stevie. Oh, Tanner's an adult, yeah? Okay. Stevie, Molly... Uh, don't tell me, don't tell me, Donovan. No. Yeah, Donovan, Dawson, Charlie? Yes. Uh, Aspen. We're, mi we're missing Aiden. Where's Aiden's picture? Did we ever take a picture of Aiden? I gotta look for Aiden's picture. Uh, Jordan, Alexander, of course, Robin, Riley. Then we have Nicole, Spencer. We gotta take a picture of Toddy, which I forgot to take a picture of him. We got to take a picture of Danny and Azure and 
then we'll have our walls complete. Actually, we should move these down because these are all in the wrong place. Ah. New. Gotta make that spot. So I remember to take a picture of Aiden. Aiden was born just before Jordan. I remember correctly. Either Aiden and Aspen or Aspen and Aiden. I'm just gonna put them there. I might have to lift these up higher too because we have handles. Eventually this wall is gonna be covered and I'm gonna have to start squeezing them together instead of just letting them land and I'm gonna have to get rid of these shiny cabinets so we can fit them. But yeah, so far the wall of photos is coming out pretty cool. Now here's what concerns me. Ridley is pregnant with Ian's baby. Oh, no. no. No food. Ridley! That was for company. I want to make another one now. I really hate when they do that. So annoying sometimes. I wish that- why can't there be an option to tell them no eating? I don't see the point in feeding them before they cook the meal you want them to sit down and eat with guests and then overfeeding them when the guests get there. And don't you dare dig into that girl. You're not having a conversation. You gotta finish cooking. And you, what is your problem? Go back to sleep. Just stay asleep for now. Wendy, don't cry. Go to sleep. Danny, you're exhausted. Why don't you take a nap with your brother? And Azure, go to sleep. Told you. Now, here's our problem. Jordan is level eight chef. We need her to be a level 10 so we can get that aspiration. So I am not ready to send her out of the house when she's this close, but Ridley's giving birth tomorrow, right? Yeah, third trimester in six hours. So that means by tomorrow night. Our children are not aged up to teens yet. It means the earliest they're going to be able to graduate school comes like Monday or Tuesday. So Ridley's going to actually not be pregnant for a couple of days now. I know we're well ahead of this, but it makes me nervous for those days where we're not ahead. You know, like we can very quickly fall behind. So I like being ahead. Oh man. Gotta watch you like a hawk that you don't grab that food, Ridley. I am OCD like that. I can't put out a fruit salad with seven servings. Oh my god. He's so flirty. What is with this family? What is with Ridley's jeans? You know what, Jordan? The whole point of a family dinner is to eat. So why don't you just finish cooking? And then you can have it. I want to smack them so bad when they are doing stuff like this. Like, how do I explain to you? It's a family dinner on a holiday. Don't eat until you invite people over and finish cooking. Clive's spirit is fading away. I can't even find my own children's graves for their spirit. Ridley, no. Ridley, I know what you're doing, Ridley. Don't you dare. Damn it. Don't tell me you grabbed a serving. Did you take out a salad? Oh, you bitch, you didn't. Now you gotta make both again. Look, it's almost three o'clock. We started cooking at like what? 12? All you had to do was make two salads. If you could freaking keep your little mitts off of them, maybe they'll be done and we can actually put them out. Anyway, I didn't, did I finish talking before I was saying I was thinking we gotta get a plasma fruit tree. So we just start making like plasma <laughs> salads for our, our vampire family. Shush right. Bing kappa baru. Finny a papim. Come on, I make a salad. Yes. Yeah, okay. Tanner, you're just slowing them all down. Okay, I gotta be more on top of stuff. Hopefully this stupid lag won't hold me back from pressing pause. I'm like, I'm like hovering over it with my finger. I'm like, ready to go. Okay, why are we waiting? Nobody better take any servings. I swear to God. I will end you, Ridley. Why does this lag? Okay, they just keep looking at each other and looking at the food. It's four o'clock. <laughs> like, dudes, it's taking you four hours to make two salads. Come on.
I will hurt you. I will hurt you. Get the hell away from that salad. Eight. Oh, she already took one? Oh, you bitch! Oh my god! I'm gonna have to take medication to get through this. <laughs> You could have had your whole family over already, and you all could have been eating. Jordan? I swear to God, Jordan. <laughs> oh my God, she took it too. Oh, this lag! No! <laughs> Drive me crazy. This time I'm gonna stop her and try before she even tries pouring it out. Because it might be doing it ahead of, because of the lag. Oh. She might actually be serving herself the salad before she even finishes making it. Let's see. Eight left. Don't you touch it! Change the baby's diaper. And then you can call them over. Same thing with her. Before they even... Finish. Baby, Dreaming of baby, Jordan. Maybe we'll let Jordan have a baby before she moves out. We'll get her pregnant and then send her to live with a boyfriend or something. Ooh. Tough, Ridley. You could have been eating two hours ago. Three hours ago. Away from that salad. Okay. Okay. And you can clean this. Thank you. It takes so long just to get from one sim to the other with this stupid lad. Oh, me, you Clean it. You didn't. You're supposed to do your event, Ridley. At almost seven o'clock at night, when you should have been doing this three four hours ago. Girl being short, Zim Zay Joss, Steve Payoon, Dumba. Let's see. Well, it's not going to be. All my gold events keep going away whenever I do my game repairs and clear my cash. I have to start the aspiration all over again. Let's see. Where's all the Scots? Calling all Scots. Okay, you guys live here. Okay, if anyone's missing, we'll get to them. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Everybody's crying. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's finally having that meltdown. One good thing about these meltdowns is it speeds up the morning process faster than anything else. Faster than going to the mirror, faster than finding it out, faster than the sadness hotline. What do you mean you don't know? Find out what's wrong with the baby. Oh, Bambusa. Sharma Dindu. Figure. Okay. Let's wake up these guys. Because the gang's all here. Get the food out. And the garden salad with eight. The fruit salad with eight. I feel very victorious. And the pie. Just having trouble walking around. Everybody come to the moon. Uh, the gel just? Oh. <laughs> Look at all our old children. Marley is so old. <sighs> this is terrible. Danny has to pee. I just saw her walking. Oh, okay. Oh, oh that's question. Daddy, you should say hi to your... What? 
What are they? It's her, it's her niece? Because it's her brother's daughter? There they go. And there the babies come to eat. Let's see, there's so much to do. Just gotta take pictures of kids. Just gotta do the gardening. She's got a... Update her social media for her fame and stuff. Try to keep that going. Before she loses fame points. Alright, look who's here. Ooh. The vampire oh, boy himself. Oh, Bija. Two people are sitting on one chair. Okay. <laughs> Where's Daddy? Daddy, it's got a pee, honey. It's the party. Oh, she's going to say hello. Oh, God, they're sharing chairs. The dude's there. Chairs here. I will never have a table big enough for the Scott Bell. Jordan, did you eat anything? No. Because you're sleeping in the hot tub. Okay. That's not going to replenish you at all. If you really need to sleep, just sleep in your mom's room for a little while. But you ain't going to get anything out of sleeping in the hot tub. Okay, where are they? I don't like to lift a mess. Let's see if we can get you to take a picture. Go and take care of the baby. Uh, who's jumping in? What is that? I can't see too many of them in the same spot. Robin? Spencer. Okay, it's Spencer jumping. Okay, we need Aiden and Toddy. Why don't we start with Aiden? Because he's getting older. He's not even on here. Okay, let's get Toddy then. Oh, I'm sorry you're tired, honey, but oh, so much to do. Oh god, we also have to, we're gonna have to age with Theodore tomorrow. Alright, so we gotta do gardening. We gotta do social media. We gotta age with Theodore. We gotta take family leave. We gotta get Violet aged up, because when's her birthday? Yeah, her birthday. Oh my god, Jordan's birthday is Saturday. It's going to be so weird having her here as an adult, older than Ridley. Um, but yeah, Violet's birthday is also Saturday, so we've got to really age this girl up. we got to get her finished. What? How are you guys getting in that room? <laughs> no, it's supposed to be locked. You both should know not to go in the baby vault by now. Get out. Get out, get out, get out. The sad thing is that they don't even do the thing the baby needs, which is changing the diaper. Okay. Lock in that baby vault. I probably forgot to lock the door when I redid the room. Everyone but Ridley. Jordan? What a hot chance. Wouldn't it be nearly as bad if they went in there and actually did what the baby needs to be done? But instead, they just make the baby wait longer to get taken care of. Now I gotta unlock the door so Chance could leave. Get out, Chance. Get out, get out, get out. Rush you! Chance, go! Go, Chance, go! Chance, I want to lock the door. Please leave. Okay. Get him out of there. Okay. Did get Chance out of there yet? Yes. <laughs> Lock door four. Oh no. Unlock. Nothing said everyone but Ridley. Lock door four, everyone but Ridley. Okay, somebody's peeing. Jordan! Oh my god. 
Well, sucks to be you. I don't know what to tell you, hon. Sims be stupid. They have stupid ways of prioritizing stuff. Let's see. Can you do Aiden and Addy yet? They're not here. Oh, God, everything's taking forever, including how long it takes just to switch between Sims. Look at all these books she's stealing. Girl. Oh, Winnie. Oh. Feels comforter because it seems to make them happy. Oh. <laughs> what does Violet need? Food. And what does she need here? Okay. I'll get her food, but you play dolls with her for a little bit. How is our little Violet? Yes. Play with mommy. Yes. Oh my god, she's right there. Right there. And then first thing in the morning, we will do the thinking skills. She's right there in communication, too. 146% complete. What? Okay, Violet can go eat now. Wendy needs to go to bed. Wendy's eating. So why don't you go to bed, Ridley? Do pictures tomorrow. We'll do updates as soon as you wake up. We'll age up. Wait a minute. See, by the time I even get the menu, she's already walked past it. <laughs> yes, you finish it. Bing. I know. I told your sister twice to put her in the heat. I don't know why she's not listening to me. You're such a good girl. I'm so proud of you. You don't have a project, do you? No, they got those just before you aged up. So you gotta go to bed, Azure. <laughs> You're hungry too? Didn't you people eat? You gotta go pass out instead of just getting in bed? Where you at, girl? Oh my god. Chance is taking a bath in our house. Okay. Jordan, you were supposed to be eating. Didn't you eat yet? Oh my god. Go eat, girl. Okay, Danny. You better get an A tomorrow, girl. I am counting on you because your mom is not going to be pregnant for three days. Oh, God, it breaks my heart. She's going to lose three days. We're going to have to do her scorecard after that. Uh, you guys can't go to sleep. You guys have school. Okay. Somebody had a nightmare? Yeah. I'm going to go wake Ridley up. Okay, how's Ridley doing? All right, she got some rest. She needs more. There you go. What does Violet need? She needs body training, like, right now. I'm sorry, Wendy, not Violet. Oh, too many kids. They're easy to get confused. Oh. Ridley with the big belly. Just stand around looking at each other if you want. I don't care. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, shab me. No, shab me. Now you gotta yell at her. Tell her not to do that. And then, body train her anyway. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, ten. You know, this would be like perfect for washing your hands for the coronavirus, you know? Just like, you know how they tell you sing happy birthday or something like that to make sure you wash your hands long enough? Well, you can make sure you wash your hands long enough if you do it after you cue your sims up and get them to actually do what they gotta do. Again? So, so. <laughs> Very good. Stops to have a little. 
little fuck Shabana. I wonder what that means. Benaza Shloaf. Shanaza Shloaf. That's something like, here you go. Here we go, because that's when they say that. <laughs> like when they're doing something like that. Between the lag and all the mourning that's been going on for the last couple of weeks, last week or so since we got in the new house for them. Yeah, it's only been a week. Their time since we got in the new house. And uh, because of all the mourning and all the lag, it's like been impossible to help these kids age up. What time did that maid say she was coming? We need her. 10.05 a.m. Okay, any minute now. Violet, why are you so angry? Really want to read her sleep when she's done with this. Or not. You can get the baby. I have not seen a gardener yet. Yay, she's level 2 potty. She doesn't need anybody to do it for her anymore. Jordan is replenished. Oh. Confess the mistake. It's a missed bubble. It's not like he really did something <laughs> bad. I miss bubbles all the time in those stupid tests. Oh, there's the gardener. Let's see. Steve Malone. I might have a baby with you eventually, Steve. Hope you don't mind. Oops. She's got a call in to work. Is the gardener still out there? Am I going to have to pay him by the hour? The maid is waving at no one. She's pretty. I wonder if she could get me pregnant. <sighs> Let's see if she does a good job. The baby, Ridley, the baby! Hi, I am your very pregnant boss. Please clean my house. Anytime, Ridley. You don't need a drum roll to ask the baby what's the matter. Now you know why I need to debug. And pause a lot. You know what really sucks, though? Everything oh, logs, except for the time and the need to pay. I wouldn't mind the lag if the time and the need to pay also lagged, because then I wouldn't really be out anything. <laughs> except for the time of my own life slipping away, and I'm playing The Sims, so pretty much throwing that away. By the time you get to this baby, they're gonna like take him away by some oh, Look at the maid and the gardener. Why aren't they working? Let me see. Is he still out here? No. Looks like I'm all done here. $146? You better be done. Donovan's calling. Sure, we could chat for a minute with Donovan. Possibly. He didn't fertilize nothing. What do we need a gardener for if they don't fertilize? Is the maid doing her job? I'm gonna watch this girl make sure she does a good job. Okay, so she's got the garbage. Gotta get all the dishes. Okay, she's sniffing our garbage. Okay, the kids are gonna be home. Hey. Because if I can't age her up, there is no hope whatsoever for her to age up Monday or Tuesday. It'll be Tuesday at the earliest, definitely, or Wednesday. And if she's got an A, and she's a B student, Right now, Danny, I'm talking about. If she is a B student and gets an A, then she could possibly become a high school student as a B student. And if she does everything she needs to do, then she could aid, possibly get an A tomorrow. No, Monday. She's got all weekend to work on those skills. It's three thirty. Kids are not home yet. Okay. Danny, hold on. Just wiped an object. Must be an A. <gasps> Thank you. She's an A student, and he's a B student. Okay. Gotta go take a nap because we can't rush. Because we got all weekend. How you doing, meaty girl? What's her name? Ah. Jocelyn. I put that in the fridge. How did that get out again? Jocelyn. There's a lot of garbage, Jocelyn.
Is our little Violet getting smart? Yay, yeah, she's so close! I am so glad the maid is here, but at this rate, she's gonna be here all day. You done? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Looks like I'm done! Are you kidding me? Oh no. Theodore aged up. Okay. Okay. Let's sue them. Dobishi second. Kakuya! Shinoi! Oh, Wibney! <laughs> it looks like he's wearing one as a Halloween costume or something. How's our little Violet? Oh, she's so close! She's gonna be ready to age up! Take clothes off. She likes to be a little naked girl. When my, when my son was young, he likes to be a little naked boy. You're better than the maid, Danny. With the lag, it was probably too much for the maid. Hopefully she do a better job next time or I'll just fire her because there's no point. Oh, no. What? Yay! Ah. We're gonna age her up tonight! Mm. Now come talk to somebody. Yeah. Really earned a raise for not going in, yay! See, I want her to quit her job, but like really, she doesn't ever have to go in. As long as she keeps getting pregnant. But I don't think with those money trees, she's making like $16,000 now. I don't think she's going to need it. She needs to do pictures. She needs to call over Toddy and Aiden. She needs to take pictures of Azure and Danny. Oh, and she needs to do upgrades. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. The only person who can teach talking without talking. There you go. Oh, there we go. She's in labor. I guess we will end it on that note. And when we resume, Ridley will have a brand spanking new shiny baby in her arms. Not to mention a flat stomach for three whole days. Can you imagine? I think this is the longest she's gone without being pregnant since this whole challenge started. And that's like amazing and freaking me out a little too. All right. Check the description box below where you will find my Sims article links, my Tumblr page link, and of course the link to the official 100 Baby Challenge rules, so you can also do an official 100 Baby Challenge. But I warn you, it will have you pulling your hair out. Good luck, though, and let me know if you are. Let me know how it's going. Hope everybody's doing well. Enjoy your gaming. Play The Sims. Have some fun this week. And I will see you next time.